Hello, this is Charity from CAD Dimensions with this week's Tech Tip. I'll be going over the Set Revision command. Now, typically I will see customers um, struggle with using this command because they're not aware that certain rules have to be in place in order to use the Set Revision command. So, the first thing that you want to check is that you actually have permissions to use it. Typically, the admin user will be the one who will be changing revisions but um, it could be anybody or a separate user that is an admin, but maybe not using the admin username. But you do want to make sure that uh, you at least have the, um, oh, pull up the correct workflow here, that you at least have the set revision permission right here. All right, so that was under state permissions. Find the right workflow, right? Highlight the right state that it's sitting in and set revision. You probably do want to make sure that you also, while you're in here, have the set revision command on the other state as well. And go ahead and say OK. Now we're sure that we have permissions to use it. All right. Very important. Now step number two. All right. So we know we have permissions to use it. This file is currently sitting on Rev B. All right. Let's say a mistake was made. It's not supposed to be Rev B. It went down the wrong workflow. There was a user error. Um, Something happened during migration, and it's not supposed to be Rev B, it's supposed to be Rev A. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and change that Rev B. All right, we're going to select our file and make sure it's highlighted. Go up to the Modify tab. That's where the Set Revision command lives. All right, so now we can see right here, Set Revision. Oh, but it's grayed out, and I can't click on it. Well, why is it grayed out? You currently have this file checked out. Now, in normal times that should be okay but when you're using the set revision command you have to actually have the file checked in so we're going to go ahead and check in the file All right. so now that it's checked in highlight that file again go up to the modify tab now you'll see that set revision command is now not grayed out All right. so you can click on it and now this is the set revision command, all right? So we can see our current revision is B, right? B, B on the data card, B up here is the current revision and new revision, okay? So typically you would get a whole list of letters, not just A, but whatever, okay, well, we want it to be A, so that's okay, right? Oh, but I can't click this update variable. Well, why can't I click the update variable? Why is it grayed out? I've seen many, many customers um, try to use this tool and say, oh, well, it's fine, the revision's what I want, and they go ahead and cl they click OK, and then nothing changes, it's still still B. So why is that box grayed out? It's because this file is not sitting in a state that allows revision increments, all right? And I'll show you what I mean by that. So if we pull up our admin tool again, and we go to our... Uh, test workflow right here, I already have it pulled up. That file is currently sitting in this state, all right? So if I click in this state, and I go to the revision numbers tab, this right here is the key, all right? So if this, this would have to be sitting with a revision set to it, like so, all right? That's the main reason why that is grayed out. But you don't necessarily want to change this, especially in a production workflow. You don't want to change this to say revision because it could very well cause problems if you have workers working in there at the same time that you're trying to set the revision. So you have two options, okay? And I'll show you the options. You can either transfer that file from whichever state it's in into a state that has that same setting set, right? Okay, so revision is set in this field. Or you could do the first option where you would change it in that state directly, okay? But that is not the one that I would recommend. Now, well, you're probably saying, oh, well, you only have two states in here and my workflow is massive and has way more states than that and I don't wanna have to transition it all the way down through. That's fine as well, I'll show you a different example. 
So okay, here's a bigger workflow, right? So let's say that the file was sitting in under editing and let's just say it needs to get down to the approved state. All right, well, you could just make a new transition specifically for that set revision command. Or let's say it's something that's not already connected, all right? So let's say it's under editing to change pending approval, all right? So we can go ahead and say new transition, poke under editing, go to change pending approval and say fix rev. Okay, let's pull it out here so you can see it a little bit better. So now this is going specifically from this state that the file will be sitting in down to the state that you need to get it to, the state that has the correct revision uh, increment setting set. All right. So that's one way that you can kind of skip and not have to go through every single step in your workflow. Okay. Just an easy way to, to get through what we're getting through. So back to where, <laughs> back to our very, very simple workflow. Okay, so what I'm gonna end up doing in the vault to get this file from the initiated state to that nice state that has the revision already set in it is I'm just gonna change state, all right? Same goes for the other, the other way. If you were to make that transition from the, the top level state all the way down to your approved state, I'm just gonna change state. So now it's sitting in that nice state, right? Now, what you have to be careful of, well, what just happened? Oh, it bounced up. And it bounced up because I went through this transition here, which has an increment. It has those two steps in here to increment the revision. Now, if you were to go through the other step where you, you made this new transition with nothing in it, that would skip it. It wouldn't create a new, a new revision number, all right? So we go back into the vault. But that's okay, because C is still not the revision that we want. We were gonna change the revision anyway, all right? So I'm gonna highlight that file, go to modify, set revision. Okay, set revision is checked. Current revision, and we don't want C. Click on that invisible field. Again, it's not gonna show up unless you know it's already there. You just gotta click in it. Scroll up to A, because that's the revision that we want. You can say update variable. Go ahead and write a nice comment in there. And click OK. Now you can see on the data card it did change to A. That's what we wanted, right? Now I know what you're saying. You're looking over here and you're saying, oh, why does it say revision C? Ooh, it just changed <laughs> in real time. Now, if you saw that and it didn't change in real time, don't forget to refresh, all right? Or F5 if you're impatient. Um, but if you hit that little refresh button, it would automatically refresh this. But you did just see it change in real time, that's nice. So now they both match, all right? And that's how you use the set revision command and all of the possibilities uh, of troubleshooting with the set revision command. I hope you guys have learned something new today. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.